Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a Python program to password protect your PDF file. Let's say that we have this base PDF file and we want to password protect it. So what we'll do is we'll create a duplicate file called the bohat waste. <laughs> so just in case we messed up with this PDF file, we won't lose this one. Okay, so just creating sort of a backup and then we'll password protect it okay so first of all let's see that what is the system requirement for this project you need only one package to be installed which is called pypdf2 so just quickly write pip not go pip install uh, pypdf uh, it should be all uh, caps pypdf2 press enter and this package will be installed for you for me this is already installed okay so let's quickly jump to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to import the required library. So we need PDF writer and PDF reader from our P, uh, PyPDF2 library. Okay, so PDF writer module and PDF reader module. Okay, so no problem. So we have imported the PDF file reader and PDF file writer from our PyPDF2. Now let's create a PDF file writer object. Okay, so now we have created the object. This variable will be used wherever we want to use this PDF file writer uh, object or this module. Okay, now let's create the variable in which our original PDF file data will be stored. So I guess the name of my PDF data is where is the folder one? Okay, so there it is. Uh, it's a uh, waste PDF. Okay, this is the PDF file that I have used for my PDF merger project. If you haven't watched that, the link will be provided below okay so i don't think so there is much to explain in this we have created a pdf variable in which all the data of this waste pdf uh, pdf file is saved we are using this pdf file reader uh, method here okay so now what we are gonna do is we are gonna create a new pdf file and then write all the data which is present in our original pdf file into a backup duplicate pdf file okay okay so now let's create a pass variable uh pass actually we can't create it because it's a keyword so we'll create a pass w variable in which our password will be saved let's say abracadabra okay so this is our password now let's use our pdf writer dot encrypt method to actually put the password into our pdf file so let's save this and see that what are the output we are getting. So we aren't finished it. Okay, so I'm getting an error. Definitely a spelling mistake. Uh, yeah, definitely a spelling mistake. Actually, it should be page. And here also get page. Let's save this. No, I don't want to buy. It's very irritating. Okay, so we have executed this. Let's go and actually let me first rename this. Actually, I'll remove this both ways so that uh, we will create a new one. So let's save this and let's run this again. Okay. So no file is created because we haven't written anything on our PDF file. So such a waste. Let's first write all the data into a new PDF file. So we have extracted the data, but we haven't written the data. So we are going to open the file with open then we'll write the name of the pdf file that we'll create let's say bohat uh, waste now you'll understand this naming convention if you have watched that video or uh, the merging of pdf video so the method will be used is wb because we are writing and then we'll use this as f variable let's say that f variable okay so pdf writer dot 
right so we're gonna write the data which is present in our pdf writer having the password as well as the data into our bohot waste pdf okay then we'll simply close our file okay so let's save this and let's run our program so it will take a bit of time because first it is extracting the data then it is encrypting it and then it is uh, writing the data into a PDF file so it will take some time now what else you can do to modify this program is you can use the random function and then just randomly create a password here I am taking a manual password but what you can do is you uh, you can also use the random uh, package and create a random password and then encrypt your PDF with that random password okay so this will somewhat step up the complexity of this project okay so now our project uh, program is executed let me refresh this and uh, let's open the bohat waste okay so it is password protected first of all let me write something random and then execute it okay so no th this is not the right password let me uh, go back to my program and copy the password from him and then paste on our where is my pdf man where is our okay, here it is so let's save this here and let uh, and let's print okay so here you can see this is the pdf i'm talking about now i cannot show the pdf because it is having all my university notes and i don't want to make my university feel bad okay so this is it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can password protect your pdf file using pipe okay so this was a very basic project i mean i have just shown you that what is the method that you can use to password encrypt your pdf now you can increase the complexity of this project by by creating a gui or something like random password okay so this is all on you if you have created a more complex project then share with our community also comment down below so that our community can also enjoy the uh, more complex project related to this uh, concept okay so this is it and I'll meet you in my next lecture where we'll create something more awesome. Okay, so meet you there. Bye-bye.